Hi, my name is Antoine, and I'm the Product Service Manager for Coyote Outdoor Grills. Today, we have our 36-inch pellet grill, and we're going to go over the best way to keep your grill cleaned. The first thing you're going to want to do when you clean your grill is remove the Versarax. Once you get these removed, you can simply clean these off using warm soap and water. Now that you have the Versarax removed, you're going to want to grab a 3-in-1 grill tool and scrape the surface of your cooking grates. When you scrape the grates, you're going to want to scrape in the direction of the grate. That makes it much easier to clean. Once the grates are clean on the top side, you're going to want to grab your grate removal tool, lift the grate out, and flip it over. Once the grate's flipped over, you're going to want to scrape the underside to, and uh, continue the grill cleaning process. Now, once you have the top and bottom of your cooking grates clean, you can set the grates out of the way and then you're also going to want to clean the rear of your grill with the scraper. Just make sure you get all the grease from back there and also these side trims. You're going to have grease kind of accumulating on the sides, on the front and the back as well. And once you've broken up all the grease, you can just grab one of the paper towels and wipe it down. And simply just wipe it down. So on the back of your grill, you have a temperature probe. Periodically, when you clean the grill, you're going to want to wipe this down just to make sure there's no grease buildup on the, on the temp probe itself. Now, in this grill, we have the sear plate installed. And once this one gets pretty dirty, you simply take the brush side of your 3-in-1 tool and brush the debris out, of, just kind of brush it loose out of the cooking grate. And then if necessary, you can grab a scraper tool and just scrape all the rest of it out. So once you have the, the center grate removed, you can, I recommend using the smaller uh, scraper tool and just scrape the heat shield and just get as much of this gunk off the heat shield as possible. And you can just scrape it straight into the body of the grill. Uh, later on, it, we'll be using a shop vac to vacuum out all the debris from the bottom. And it also helps to have a paper towel handy. That way you can wipe up any um, grease that's... Uh... So you can easily lift out the heat shield from the grill and remove it. And once the heat shield is removed, you'll be able to clean out the, the body of the grill itself. I recommend sc scraping down the uh, sides in the front and the back for any grease or any additional debris and just scrape it down into the bottom and since the heat shield is removed you'll be able to easily vacuum out the burner pot <coughs> and the frame of the grill. Now that the inside of the grill is clean you're going to want to grab this pellet ash vac which we sell on our website to clean out the burner pot and vacuum out the inside of the body of the grill. Now that we've vacuumed out all the loose dirt inside of the grill, we can use the scraper to go ahead and get the rest of it out to finish doing our deep clean inside of the grill. So now, once the, uh, the inside of the grill is clean, the lower heat shield is clean, you can go ahead and reinstall the burner pot. So when you put the burner pot in place, you want to make sure it sits flush. So if you're able to wobble your burner pot, it's not seated properly. So simply lift the rear, it'll drop into place, and it's seated properly at that point. On your Coyote Pellet Grill, you have two stainless steel drip trays. Once you um, have cleaned out the inside of the grill, you want to empty out the drip trays and I shake this around just so I can show you. You got some loose debris and some stuck on the debris. So you may want to just grab your scraper 
and just scrape all of that loose inside the grill and simply dump it in the trash. Now you're completely finished cleaning out your Coyote pellet grill. Well, now that, now that you've cleaned out the inside of your grill, the last thing you're going to want to do is polish the outside. You can use any stainless steel cleaner and polish, spray on the outside, and just use a microfiber rag and wipe with the grain of the stainless steel. This concludes the cleaning video for your Coyote pellet grill. Happy grilling!